Well hey guys and welcome to today's vlog. Um, for once this vlog is not going to be about drones, there is no drone footage. Uh, I'm not going to be talking about drones so uh, if you came looking for drone footage then come back tomorrow or maybe the day after and I might have something for you. But today, um, back to regular scheduled programming, um, <laughs> I wanted to talk a little bit about the channel and uh, a few things that I've, I've noticed over the last couple of weeks and I'd be interested in your feedback. Since I started this vlog um, back in early December, we're up at around 1400 subscribers. So I'm kind of assuming something I'm doing is appealing to some of you out there. But you're very quiet. I don't see an awful lot of comments. Usually on the drone footage, I, on the drone vlogs, I do see some comments, but they're generally about what's in the video. I don't see anybody telling me that they like these or they don't like these or it's boring or, you know, get off, you've got no place on the internet. Um, but please give me some feedback. Let me know what you like. If you want to see more drone stuff, I'll do more drone stuff. If you want to see less drone stuff, we can do less drone stuff. Um, but like I say, uh, I'm very, very happy with how things are going. So thank you to everybody. Uh, thank you for watching and listening to my inane drivels. And um, yeah, I'm super chuffed, well made up with uh, how things are going. So today, like I said, no drones today. Let's talk about something that's really, really annoying me. So I am very fortunate. I have one of the new MacBook Pros. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful machine. Uh, I'm not quite sure what Apple were thinking about with the touch bar. Um, that's a waste of money. I really wouldn't spend the money for the touch bar version. Um, this is my work computer. So uh, I actually had to have the touch bar because I needed the extra processor, the i7 that goes in this. But Apple, what on earth were you thinking? It's got nothing to do with the touch bar. It's this. The only ports on this computer, other than the headphone jack, are USB-C ports. You can see there's two on that side and there's two on this side. And this is how you power the computer. This is the USB-C cable. As you can see, I can pull on it and it does come out, but it takes some force. On my old MacBook, here, we had this wonderful thing called MagSafe. And it's possibly the most genius thing that Apple has ever come up with because when people trip over your cable it just pulls off. It doesn't drag your computer off the table, it doesn't end up damaging it. This one thing has probably saved more computers than any other invention that Apple has ever come out with. Yet they decided that this was no longer good enough so they went with USB-C. Now I get it because there are lots of things you can do with USB-C. There's lots of uh, other devices that are not necessarily made by Apple, but you can power this off of an external battery. You can buy a battery, you can get a USB-A to USB-C cable, plug that in, plug the other end into the battery, and you've got an external battery for your laptop. So if you need lots and lots of mobile power, USB-C is a wonderful thing. But come on, Apple, you could have done something to bring MagSafe back, even if you didn't put it on the side. Put it in the middle of a cable. Make a cable with a MagSafe here that when somebody trips over it, it pulls off without actually yanking it out of the port like I've just done. Hopefully not damaging it. But MagSafe was one of the, I say, I would say the most ingenious thing that Apple has come up with in years. And yet they've just thrown it away for their new computer. So come on Apple, please, please, please solve the MagSafe problem for us. So one of the other things that uh, I hate about this new new MacBook as well is the fact that I had to go and replace all of my dongles. Um, for those of you that use Apple laptops, you'll know that um, there are dongles for just about everything and they cost a small fortune. But it means that I have to carry around all this. Different dongles for different things. I actually have a separate little like pencil case that you used to take to school with your pencils and your rubbers and everything in uh, to carry all the different things that I will need on the road to be able to plug into this new MacBook. Um, and because they're all USB-C, all the ones from the previous laptop that I've got in another bag still don't work. So we've got um, a card reader for taking video off of cameras. We've got a, uh, that's for a lap, that's not for the MacBook, that's for the iPad. So I've got a USB standard USB connector, USB 3 to USB-C, so you can plug in things like flash drives. We've got a 
VGA because there are still people where you walk into a conference room, you sit down to present, and they've only got a projector from the I don't know, 1850s. So there's a USB a VGA one and there's an HDMI one because they took the HDMI off the side of the laptop and put it into a dongle that they can charge you £40 for. Um, I get it, there is an Apple tax, as people call it, to uh, when you buy an Apple computer, you're paying a lot of money. But when you pay an awful lot of money for a laptop, I really object to going to spend another couple of hundred pounds on dongles that do exactly the same as the dongles I've already got, just because we've got a new connector on the end of them. <sighs> anyway, rant over. So, uh, let me tell you a little bit about this new laptop. So this laptop, like I say, my old laptop is a 2012 MacBook Pro. This is the 2016, and there's been a lot of uh, angst written in the press by people saying mm, it only has 16 gigs of RAM. It, uh, it just forget it. It works beautifully. Um, I have an i7 processor in there. It will handle 4K video. I can edit in 4K whilst running motion. Uh, it does everything it's supposed to do. Yes, it doesn't have 32 gigs of RAM, and for some serious professionals, that might be a real problem. But for me, it does everything I need it to do. Um, it's a really, really, really nice laptop. Um, the keyboard, some people are complaining about the keyboard. They do say it takes a little getting used to. It took me about two minutes. But the, obviously the big feature is this thing called the touch bar. Um, a little difficult to see, but this strip along the top here. These are not physical keys. These are o It's an OLED screen. And depending on what application you're using, you get different things presented to you. Um, the big problem with it is, is I'm a touch typist. So I type looking at the screen. I don't look down at the, the bar. So the suggested words like you get in iOS, just I don't see them. So therefore I never use it. Um, Final Cut lets you you know scrub along your timeline. But again, I'm looking up at the screen. I'm not looking down at the keyboard. So I think the touch bar really is a bit of a gimmick. Um, I'm not sure how much I'll use it. In fact, when I'm using the laptop and I'm here in the home office, it's connected to a big display and it's running lid down mode. So with the lid down, you can't even see the touch bar. So it's a complete waste of time. But the only, sometimes the only way to get the extra processing power to get the i7 um, was to buy the version that had the touch bar. So anyway, enough of my rant about Apple today. Um, there's a, a blog I did a few weeks ago, which I'll link to up above. Um, as you see, Apple are awesome. Sometimes Apple are idiots. That's just the way it goes, I suppose. That's it for today's vlog. Um, like I say, if you've enjoyed these vlogs, please let me know. I, I really do want to uh, see what you think, what you think of the idea of whether I should be doing more drone videos, um, doing less drones, doing more of this kind of thing, or if you enjoyed the videos I did when I was out traveling. Um, I'm gonna be off traveling probably to Japan sometime in May, and then back to the US uh, sometime in June for another big trade show. So please let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot for watching.